Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to configure your Samba server to work better with your Mac. So there are two ways to do this. The first method uses a bash script, which is written by me, and automates the process with just a little bit of user input. Keep in mind, this script only works for Ubuntu-based distributions and automatically configures your server to appear as an Xserve. So if you want more customizability, the second method is a little more involved and requires you to use the command line and editors such as Vim or Nano. However, it allows you to have full control over what you're changing, so if you're comfortable with using the command line and editing files, this is definitely the way I would recommend. The first thing you need to do is install Samba and the Avahi daemon, enable them, and add a Samba user. To install them, you need to run the command sudo apt install samba avahi daemon. To enable them to start now and start when the computer starts up, run the commands sudo systemctl enable dash dash now samba and sudo systemctl enable dash dash now avahi daemon. Finally, to add a samba user, run sudo smb password dash a and then the name of the user, which has to be an existing user on the computer. The next thing you need to do is to clone the GitHub repository. To do this, just run the command git clone and then the name of the URL, which I'll have linked in the description. Once you've cloned the git repository, just enter the directory, add execute permissions to the setup script and run it using the commands cd apple friendly samba to enter the directory, chmod plus x apple samba create to make it an executable and dot dash apple samba create to run the script. It'll ask for an administrator password, a few questions, and then you're good to go. If you make a mistake, you can either correct them by changing the permissions on the Apple Samba reset file and executing it, or going to the next method, which is manually editing the Samba configuration file. To add a new share, you simply have to change the permissions on the Apple Samba add file and execute it. This method involves manually editing the Samba configuration file and modifying values in order to have full control over all changes. Keep in mind that this method involves using command line text editors such as Vim in order to modify the Samba configuration file, which resides in the Etsy Samba directory. In this method, the first step is also installing Samba and the Avahi daemon and enabling them as well as creating the Samba user. So just run the commands sudo apt install samba avahi daemon, sudo systemctl enable dash dash now samba, and sudo systemctl enable dash dash now avahi daemon, and sudo smb password dash a an existing user. To edit the Samba configuration file with vim, simply run the command sudo vim slash etsy slash samba slash smb.com. Now that we're inside the file, we just have to edit a few things. Under global, we have to add these four lines. Fruit apple equals yes. Fruit advertise full sync equals true. Fruit metadata equals stream. And fruit model equals model. To find more models, I'll have a command linked in the description, which you should run on your Mac. I'll just be using Mac Pro 7 comma 1 for now. Now we have to scroll to the bottom and add our own share. The format for the share is share name, comment, path equals path to file, read only equals no, browsable equals yes, guest okay equals no, valid users equals user, or if you want to use a group, you just have to put an at before it, VFS objects equals cadia, fruit, streams, x-a-t-t-r, fruit time machine equals yes or no, based on if you want this to show up as a time machine share or not. And that's it. Now you have a Samba server that integrates seamlessly with your Mac. Now that we've set up everything on the server side, we just have to go to our Mac, head to Finder, go to Network, click on the name of your server, and hit Connect As. And then you just sign in as the user that you created using the SMB password command. And that's it. Now you can seamlessly transfer files from your Linux server to your Mac computer. If you enable Time Machine support, you can simply select your share in your Time Machine preferences. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.